Hey everybody, time for my last comic book haul for 2023. Um, I have a bunch of books that I picked up from the flea market. I also went to a 75% off sale. And I also got uh, a Christmas gift from my friend Matt, Comic Quarter 410, um, which I'll show in this video as well. I'll start with some of the dollar pickups that I got from the flea market. I always liked this cover. Swords of Sorrow, uh, number, what number is this? Two, part two. Just something about this cover is pretty cool. Uh, let me see if we could do something about the glare we got going on today. And a little off center a little bit. High production value. Here we go. Okay. Um, Marvel Comics presents... Number 79, part of that Weapon X storyline. Also got number 78. Also got Surfer Smurf yesterday at the flea market. So we'll just stick him right in there. Almost done filling up this little display. Everybody's falling though. Santa Smurf. Uh, Love me, Lady Mechanica books so i didn't have that one so number four a uh low print run issue of spawn i think there was only 50 56 000 copies ordered uh of spawn number 110 i got a trade paperback that's out of print batman versus predator 2 Got that was for five. The other books were a dollar. A newsstand copy of Grendel versus Batman or Grendel Batman. And the barcode is a sticker, um, which is weird. I've seen that maybe once or twice before. And on the back where the barcode should be, it just says DC Comics. It's kind of weird how they did that. That was a dollar. <clears throat> Let's put that back in its bag. Hope everybody had a good Christmas and is gearing up for New Year's. Um, New Year's will be in a couple of days. Uh, two days after this video is shot. Um, doing this on the Saturday before. Uh, an issue of Catwoman number 81. It's got some spine ticks on it up here. Whoops, whoop. right here. But it was a buck. I can never leave Adam Hughes stuff for a dollar. I bought this with Schoon Comics in mind, uh, but when I messaged him, he already had it. Um, so that's how my DC Universe. Uh, collection is being built i buy them hoping that he needs them and most of the time he doesn't and then i get it um spawn 100 for about i think that was the end of the dollar books i picked this up yesterday at the flea market he wanted a hundred dollars for it i did some trade with him um some things that no longer fit in my collection. Um, so I gave him about $75 worth of trade uh, for things, plus 25. And I got this awesome Strange Tales, number 99. I had picked up two previously from him from two videos ago. You had seen those. So very happy to add this to the, to the collection. Um, what do we got else? All right, so now we got the books that I got um, at the Comic Crypt here in New Jersey. They were having their Christmas Eve 75% off sale. There was a lot of stuff that I liked. Um, just uh, if I'm going to pick, like there was some Silver Age Justice League and Super and Silver Age Superman that I was eyeing up, but there was a staple pop or something. And if I'm going to pick those sorts of books up, um, 
they got to be in pretty good shape because I'm not a huge fan of that stuff. But what I did pick up, I love. Um, trying to put this run together. So we got Submariner number nine. Um, he had a $30 sticker on that. And I got it for 75% off, as I said. Submariner 11. It's in really nice shape, especially with the black covers. Number 13. This one's an upgrade for me. Number 18. I thought I needed this one, but I didn't. But still, I'm glad I grabbed it, especially at 75% off. I'm a huge Michael Turner fan. I passed on this when it first came out. Batman 50. I've said it before. I'm leery about these Michael Turner covers that have come out so many years after his death. Uh, I don't know. I like the cover. Um, maybe these are just sketches that he never finished or and they just found a way to put them all together. But uh, grab that. I've always loved this cover um, from the minute that I first saw this come out. Uh, 2017 San Diego Comic-Con Wonder Woman uh, foil cover with Gal Gadot on the cover. It's got some spine ticks, and I'm not 100% sure if I didn't do this or not. Put it on my seat, and my seat's got like a little bevel to it, and I had, you know, some of the other books on top. And when I looked over, it was like, kind of bending in the seat and I was like oh my come on you know better savage um this was not 75 percent off this was a current issue um I've said a million times that I'm done with J. Scott Campbell stuff but that's a really nice cover so uh, I grabbed that love Arthur Adams picked up this one in 25 variant for uh x-men I don't, know, I don't even know what the hell this is, but it's a Emma Frost cover. So that's cool. And then I got the Batman 258. It's a 100 pager. Um, it's not in the highest of grade, but it's nice. And it's the first mention of Arkham Hospital, uh, which becomes Arkham Asylum. Got that. And then my most favorite pickup. Um, foremost number uh number three from volume two it's got uh, let's get centered here it's got this tear that goes through the first through the cover in the first four pages i don't care um it's just really cool other than that it's in really nice shape i mean that's a big other than that but still i like it i like it a lot let's make some room also at the show at the show at the shop uh he had 25 percent off of toys he had 50 on this starboard uh from my childhood and uh he let me have it for for 50 for 30 still works is it So it makes the sound as if it's climbing. And then... It's, it's descending. And... That still works. It's very complete. It's only missing this gun. I have a couple of others of these because I just... One of the things I can really identify with... It's loud. From my childhood but they're not as complete as this um it's got the little extra ships that come off the wings it's got these these are always missing so and these are missing a lot most of the time stickers are nice very happy brian if you're watching thank you <clears throat> all right last bit is the books i got from matt we got the House of Secrets 87. The 
House of Secrets 90. These are all mid-grades, but I love these. These are just awesome. This one's got a date stamp on it, too. The House of Secrets number 91. And then 101. He knows that I'm a Michael Turner fan. He sent me this. Soul Fire special preview. And then uh, an issue of Godzilla I did not have, number 24. Matt, also, he always sends me these cool um, Walt Disney comics. I mean, I've gotten a lot of them from him over the years because he's a big Carl Barks fan. I forgot to ask him if these are Carl Barks covers, um, but love that one. This one is also pretty cool. What year is this from? I don't even know. I haven't cracked them open yet. And then this was this was awesome. Um, I don't know where he got this, but uh, this is a Popeye book I did not have, nor have I ever seen it before. Uh, Bud Sagendorf was the artist on this one. Weatherbird, March of Comics featuring Popeye. That's sweet. He had picked this up from Ollie's. Uh, he knew that I love good girl art. And he had gotten this for me as well. Pinups of uh, past and present. The art in this thing is just incredible. There's a... Let's get in there. I think that's from Jim Silk. There. So it's, this is pretty... Pretty cool. Just love this. This is just great. I could do without the computer generated stuff. That was good. Just a quick glance at some of this stuff. But perhaps the coolest thing he sent me is Frank Frazetta Icon. Um, this is just, I haven't opened that, I haven't cracked that open yet either. But uh, this is my favorite thing that he sent me. Matt, thank you very much, pal. This is just awesome. What year did this come out? Don't know, but uh, love it nevertheless. Um, so that is it. That's my last haul for 2023. I'm glad this year is coming to a close. Wasn't the greatest of years. I had a lot of crazy, horrible things happen. Um, just looking for one more thing here. Just going to put this up hopefully this will generate a thumbnail for me but that's it um hopefully everybody had a good year and uh i do have a comic show to go to tomorrow and uh, i think i will attend that and hopefully pick up some stuff that'll be my first um haul for 2024 i may do a top pickups for the 2023 video i tend to do one of those every year Hopefully somebody would want to see that. Um, maybe just do another room tour. I normally do that at the same time as well. But I got to clean up first if I'm going to do that. I got piles of stuff everywhere. But that's it, uh, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, until next time, bye for now.